Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to tell you what we thought about Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. This was a movie I was honestly very excited for. I really like the concept, and I think like a lot of people, just the concept alone got me to buy the ticket. Even before the trailer came out, I was already planning on seeing this movie. This movie is very unique because it started off with this really, really cool, creepy like child drawing animation style that I thought was really great. That was actually one of my favorite things about the movie. And then it got into its live action portion. And I didn't know if this movie wanted me to take it seriously or if it was supposed to be this bad. It was so bad, the entire theater was laughing the entire time. I don't think there was a moment where we weren't laughing every five minutes. It was it was so funny to watch. That being said, it was a really fun experience, but this is a really terrible movie. Yeah, this one was like Griff. I I, I was excited to see it. I had a couple friends, a couple cousins, be like, "Man, there's a Winnie the Pooh horror movie." We were looking forward to it, but no, man, this one, it, it, God, there was all kinds of shit wrong with this movie. It the, the concept in and of itself is good, but it just wasn't executed properly. It, the, there's a lot of shaky cam. That the the kills in this movie, they didn't land for me. We both really hated Halloween Ends. This is a worse movie than Halloween Ends, but somehow it is enjoyable and Halloween Ends is not. I, I had a laugh with this movie. I, I think it's just a movie theater experience, but the, the way it was, you know, the, the story, the, the characters, I never cared. I, I, I had a good time, though. I, I don't know how to explain that. This, this movie suffered from all of the common horror tropes. You had unnecessary clothing being just torn off before absolutely murdering them you had the worst decisions made by humanity you are being chased let's run straight towards it before turning away it's it was <laughs> nothing good can come out of this movie except for it just being funny i think the biggest thing that i didn't like is that they told us what characters are going to be in this movie from the Winnie, the Winnie the Pooh's gang. They told us who was in it, yet they only showed Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and only evidence that those are the two that lived there. And I really would have liked to see the other members or at least seen proof that they do actually exist. They just kind of said they exist and never showed them. And then there were just some ridiculous moments out of this movie that just makes no sense. Like, Pooh and Piglet's hideout, uh, it has electricity. And Piglet uh, supplies the electricity via exercise bike. Like, what the hell? <laughs> There's a lot of dumb shit with this movie. I want to say it's the movie theater experience. Being in the movie theater with your friends, with your snacks and whatever. But I've done that with movies that, that piss me off. Like, with, you know, Halloween ends and, and, and with other things. But this one, I never expected it to be good. And the fact that it, it, it blew on this level and, and some of the scenes were like really funny. And as Griff just described one, you, you're sitting there thinking to yourself, what the fuck am I even doing here? But I, I won't watch it again. Um, <laughs> I, I, I do think it's trash, but it was enjoyable trash. It's kind of like watching Batman and Robin, which Griff has not yet watched. And we will review for you later. But it, it, it's that kind of like, I don't know. You ever seen a car accident and it's horrible but you can't help but look and stare and be like, damn, that sucked. What this really reminds me of is Mystery Science Theater. They just watch a bunch of B-rated horror movies and make fun of it the entire time. There That's you go. exactly what we were doing in the movie theater. This movie is terrible and you can rip it apart all you want. But you're going to go and watch it one time. You're going to have a lot of fun doing it with friends. And if you have friends who want to go see it, go take them to go see this movie. I think you guys will have a great time. It's terrible. Let us know how terrible it is in the comments and what you guys think about it, because it's it's truly bad. I would be really surprised laughable. to see someone say that they loved it and that they had a great time and that it's going to be in their Blu-ray collection. Yeah, I mean, like, even just thinking about some of the moments, I'm still laughing as as you can hear. Yeah, the 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 costumes, the masks, that the, you know, they, they play a lot with the whole you know horror genre movie where like a, you know the girl and, and the guy and that you know they're 
the sexy chick uh, ripping off her clothes and things like that and the slasher thing. It's just in the eighties that was done well. You know, the original Michael Myers movies, the 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 first three the Friday the thirteen movies. But now it's just it it I don't know. I don't know what happened to to certain genres, but it's just not landing it right. Yeah. In all seriousness, I think this movie has a lot of potential. And I think if they gave this writer director a bigger budget, because this was made with less than a hundred thousand dollars, and there were some pretty cool explosions, then you could definitely see where the budget went. But if they gave him a proper budget and the time editors to make a really good horror story based on our favorite childhood characters, I think they can really make something truly scary and fun to watch. I just I think they suffered too much from common slasher tropes and just not a big enough budget it's like edward said with the costumes i don't winnie the pooh couldn't really close his fist a lot of the times so half the time you just see him karate chop someone and half their face just flies off yeah winnie the pooh knows karate guys it's so funny <laughs> thank you guys for watching leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell to stay updated with our current videos let us know in the comments uh, what some of your funniest mo memories were about this movie. And if there are parts you enjoyed, let us know. Take care, guys.